So friends, I'm going to take you now to 845 West Chino Canyon in Palm Springs, California. Arguably Elvis's favorite house outside of Graceland. This home was the home that he owned along with Graceland when he passed away. The only two homes that he owned at the time. And Elvis celebrated his very last birthday here, January the 8th, 1977. And this photo was taken just days before Elvis and Ginger in Arkansas when they attended her grandfather's funeral. This home was designed by Albert Frey. He was born in Switzerland. He is famous for many designs, especially around Palm Springs, like the Illuminaire House, the Palm Springs City Hall, and the Tramway in Palm Springs, as well as many other homes, including Elvis's home. But it was actually designed for the Jurgens family. This is Andrew and Anna Jurgens. Yep, from the famous Jurgens Lotion Company. They were the original owners of the house. And then the house was purchased by Ray Kroc in 1960. Actually, before he owned McDonald's. He bought McDonald's in 1961. Yeah, and then Elvis bought it. Yeah, Chino Canyon, the Chino Canyon house is very close. It's only, I think, like one, like three miles from here or something like that. It's, it's in this same neighborhood. As, and it's, you just got to kind of do a catty corner. You can't go as a crow flies, obviously, but it's real close. So that's where the colonel lives? No, Elvis's house. He recorded in the home. Oh, okay. Oh, that's the one they show him in one of the movies recording inside of? No, that's actually Hillcrest. That's the Kurt Russell movie. Oh, okay, yeah. Kurt Russell, they show him inside. Yeah, that actually was Hillcrest. Yeah, and that was still, actually inside Hillcrest. Yeah, and it actually still had his... Because when they sold that house as part of the divorce, they sold it as is fully furnished. <clears throat> so the stuff that's in the house is actually the stuff that was really his. So that, that's a very short scene, but it's actually pretty cool. Um, but no, he recorded, I think, Sweet Angeline, a couple of songs at the at the house here in the living room in the living room here at the Chino Canyon house where we're going um, so this house so Elvis still owned this house when he died he was here in June of 77 and um, holy snikes that car was flying yeah he he uh, this was what they called Graceland West is what they called it back then kind of like a joke uh -huh. And increasingly through the years, he spent more and more time here. He absolutely loved this house. It's not, it's, it's hard to explain. It's kind of, it's not really that it's a small house. It's just, it's not as elaborate and uh, large as you would think that it would be. But, you know, he had a house that he rented in, L in Beverly Hills that he moved out of because it was too big, too grand. Yeah, I remember that one. Didn't like it. it was That's a giant White House, yeah, man. It was it giant. Was too, it was too much. It was just too much for him. So I don't think, you know, people say the first time they go to Graceland, oh, geez, it's so much smaller than I thought it was going to be. But it was comfortable for him. And it's the same thing here with this home. He bought, he owned this home outright and came out here all the time. In fact, when he had Red, Sonny, and Dave fired and he left Memphis, this is where he came Ah. He came out to this house, and he spent a good amount of time in this house. And actually, when he died, and I've got an aerial shot that I took when you guys were out there at the other place, I, I will show you. He was actually building, or having built, a new master bedroom on the house when he passed away. And it's completed, obviously, and uh, but he never got to use it. But, um, but this also has an outdoor jacuzzi that's covered, so it can give you offer uh, afford him the privacy that he would have wanted if he wanted to use it. So it's an outdoor jacuzzi, which is still here. And at the time when he was living here, when we get to this house, there's going to be a black fence that goes around the house. Uh -huh. almost there, by the way. That fence was not there during his lifetime. You could just walk right up to the front door. That's the house right straight there. Right okay. there left. This is his house right here. Yeah, that's so beautiful. Up, so people do you live here. Uh, no, the house looks abandoned. Yeah, it's empty. There's the jacuzzi right there on the left. This is a little garage. That door, those stairs goes up, and when you go in that door right there, that's the kitchen is right there. The living room is where the fireplace is, obviously. That's where he recorded. Um, Shul Nielsen got the uh, hair plugs and had the blood coming down his face while he was doing the recording session. Mm -hmm. This is where it happened. So why is all these junk vehicles sitting around? <laughs> Let's go this way real quick. I'll show you. Okay. This. Since you're the spy guy, you might like this. Yeah. I think Billy needs that. That is a covered. Oh, I see. Indoor jacuzzi yeah. right there, and he he had that put in. So that right there is a hot tub. That's inside, so he can have 
And it has a cover on the top, too. It's not just walls around it. It's completely covered. Yeah. Yeah, this place looks and this abandoned. Is, it is. It's, it, there hasn't been anybody living here in years. And then they would pull all the cars in, just park everything there. The pool is around there. So, okay, now listen. Or not listen, but look. But see the windows on the extended part of the building where yeah. you see the ha the roof changes? Yeah. That was going to be the new master bedroom that he was having built when he passed away. So that was under construction. Those three windows there, the two large ones and the smaller one. Yeah. That is a huge open room that was going to be the new master bedroom. He never got to use it. He, it was uh, being constructed when he died. Wow. His bedroom in this home is all the way on the other end. This house is like two wings. It goes like this, mm -hmm. right? And his bedroom is the very last windows on the other side of the house. But you're saying this back part. Elvis. Yeah, those three windows there on the end. Yeah. That was that whole part of the house. There's actually four. Oh, look, there's an opening right here. <laughs> <laughs> there's the, that, all those windows there. That was an add-on uh, for the house. And like I said, it was But it being, never got finished. It never, he never it saw it finished. It wasn't finished when he died, yeah. Wow. Because the house is not overly large, but he needed, I, I guess, a little bit bigger master bedroom. So there's the bedroom addition that he's talking about. There's the hot tub right there. So it's a big old open field out here. And see where they would have put an air conditioner in the wall. I hear AC running. Yeah, there's a window air right there. So I'd say with that going on, somebody lived here. Somebody is living here. So from that big bedroom window, look at his view. All these rocks out here. Somebody's redesigning it. That is the house. He said that that was the living room, which you can see goes through to the pool. That was the kitchen. It's very nice. It's very cool. This fence right here at Chino Canyon was not here back then. You could walk up to the house. You said that Sandy Miller said the last time she ever saw Elvis was standing in that front door waving. Yeah, she was leaving to go back to L.A. She had come down here for a little bit to visit. And that was June of 77. Early June of 77. And um, she spent the day here. And when she went to leave, she walked out that door, walked down these steps and went to get in her car. And she said he was standing at that door waving at her. And that was the last time she ever saw him. Wow. If you look to the left, you see of the door, you'll see the fireplace. Yeah. That whole area with those two windows, on e one on either side of the fireplace, that's the main living room area. And when Elvis recorded uh, in 1973 at home in Palm Springs, this is the location, and that's where he recorded is right inside that main living room right there. Sweet Angeline, there are a few songs he recorded in there. I think three or four of them. They were essentially just acoustics, but that's where they were recorded was right in this house, in that living room, right on the other side of the wall from that fireplace. Wow. It's amazing. So when, when we go to pull up here, if you pan down the side of the house, mm -hmm. the very last windows on the very end of the house is his master bedroom. Okay, so I saw those two windows that down at the end. end. Yeah, yeah, all the way on this end of the house, the very last windows is the Elvis his his master bedroom in this house. I got that. Yeah, that's it. It's right, there. right down there. That's you to lock our car. Yeah. <laughs> But it is really cool. You can see the, the flower beds, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, I'm sure it is. Yeah, it's definitely locked. Well, it was worth a try. So, Rick, you said that this was called Graceland West. Yeah, it was like a running joke with the guys. They, they would call it Graceland West. And near the end of his life, Elvis ended up spending more time here than he did in Palm Springs, and then in Memphis at Grayson. He, he really loved this house. He felt comfortable, safe here. And um, it was just as a, a good relaxing getaway spot. And um, 
So he spent a lot, a significant amount of time here. And like I said earlier, when he when he passed away, he was actually adding on to the house. He had no intention of selling it, and he was spending more and more time out here. So this is this was his his getaway spot. This was his comfort zone, and um, he he was here quite a lot. And like I said earlier, when he uh, fired Dave, Sonny, and Red, he's they said that his father had him do the firing, and he flew out of town. This is where he came to. So he this was his getaway place for basically everything. He didn't want to deal with anybody, see anybody, or just be left alone. He would come here, and, and so near the end of his life, he spent a considerable amount, more, a more amount of time out here. He loved this house. And probably nobody came out here and bothered him. No. No. Yeah. Amazing. All right, so let's drive away from here, friends, and we're going to go around the corner where we can see the back of the house. Now I got to edit that out, Trey. <laughs> Uh, it says no outlet. That's okay. Keep on. So this no, way. Left, left, yeah. yeah. Right and we'll go around the corner, and it opens up, and you can see the whole back of the property. And you can zoom in on it and get a good shot. So you're saying right here. I believe so. Either that or we're going to have to do some more editing. Might be the next street over. Yeah, just keep, I guess, keep going around the corner then. Dang it. <laughs> it's right over there. Yeah, go around there. And There's the rocks right there that are behind it. Yeah, keep going around that way. and <clears throat> Next left up, I suppose. But I know you'll, you'll get a good look at it. I've seen it before. Dick is actually the one that showed me. 1889 on Pacific. I like how open that is while we're blasting. Mm. Let's try this again. Another left, and then another left, and see if we can get back there. So that's Vista Street. I'm going to look up and see what that house is selling for on Vista Street. I bet it's a bunch. <laughs> this house right here. A lot of property there. Yeah, and look, no grass to cut. <laughs> and you know why they call it Vista Street? That means view. So they have a view for on that street. It's like Del, Bis Del Vista, Del Boca Vista. Del Boca Vista. Yeah, check it left here. <clears throat> so see, Dick's job was to know how yeah. you could see this house. <laughs> yeah, I can see another house out in the distance on another road. I think that's where we're going behind it. So there's a dry riverbed that runs through this property in between all these homes. And uh, that was a bit of a security problem. So I think it's going to open up right here. Yeah, I can see the roof. See the roof over there? Keep going, you'll see it. It's gonna open. So there's, like I said, there's a drive riverbed that runs right through the middle, and that was a bit of a problem. They had some issues with that. So there's the house right there. Yeah, there it is. So there's you. So you see, see, there's the, an air conditioner you see in that back room, mm -hmm. and it's on. And you see the add-on. You see the big giant window yeah. there. That was going to be Elvis's. So that right there, there is the addition. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you see, there's an air conditioner in that window right there. That is the back. So of the that's house. the pool area, and you see that the slope drops straight down. Yeah. That's where the the the, the dry riverbed runs through here. It's just all stone and stuff, but it's wide open. So it was a bit of a security risk. If you go into the edge of that wall, you can get right up into the yard. Yeah. And so that's why they kind of kept an eye back here on people coming through here. They never had any issues with anybody here uh, breaking into the house or trying to get to Elvis or anything, but it's very easily accessible. Yeah. yeah. Let's climb over these rocks. Mm -hmm. You're right there. That's what I just did. Yeah. Yeah, let me shoot it. Real quick. So friends, it turns out this house is actually not abandoned. It's actually an Airbnb. So you can actually go stay here and I may do just that next time I go to Palm Springs. ElevationPM.com. Check it out. Go there. Rent this place. It'll be awesome. We may even try to rent it and have an Elvis weekend sometime. And if you're new to this channel, Adventures of the Spa Guy, I have more than 600 Elvis videos. And don't forget to check out my sidekick, Globetrotting with Trey. He has over 150. <laughs>
and we both focus on true Elvis stories and what really happened. So if you want to support this effort, make sure that you subscribe, like, and then join. That helps us to get more videos out there. Yes, it does.